Namo Buddhaya, I welcome you. This is Abhinav Gulecha. In this video, I am talking about what the Buddha said on uh, getting rid of resentment against a person. Right? So, see, in the day-to-day, -day, we come across people who are different from us. right? And due to their conduct, their speech, we there is resentment in us that arises in us. right? And how to deal with that resentment? See, the resentment that arises in us is, you know, pollutes our mind and creates karma for ourselves, right? It's an unwholesome action that generates in ourselves by repeatedly thinking about that person in a resentful way or in our behavior when we change our behavior to, you know, deal in a resentful way with that person. All that we create our own, you know, unhappiness. So what is Buddha's teachings? The teachings now are, I'm referring to, is... Uh, number discourses 5.161 and number discourses 5.162 the link to the, those both these discourses are there in the description so, so if you want to read the complete discourses you can uh, read from there right so buddha says that mendicants you should use these five methods to completely get rid of resentment when it has arisen towards anyone what five first buddha says you should develop love for the person you resent right Replace the resentment, feeling of resentment that you have with that person with a feeling of love, right? So this is what we need to practice. That, uh, first of all, recognizing that right now this feeling of resentment is arising, becoming mindful of the, the that feelings that they go on in our mind. This is why kind of a regular mindfulness practice is important because if you don't have a regular mindfulness practice, you will not be able to recognize. The resentment can stay for days and you will be feeling sad because when it happens is resentment lowers our energy. You will feel la less energy, less energy, your vibration reduces. So important is as you recognize that right now there is this resentment that I have, immediately re replace the resentment with love for that person. See these are some like these are the cool hacks that Buddha has said because Buddha knows the mind's tendency. So just that conscious effort to immediately replace the um, Resentment with love for that person. Second, Buddha says develop compassion for the person. So that's more or less the same, the love and the compassion. Third, you should develop equanimity for the person. That means samta. That means equanimity. That means neither happy nor sad. That means neither joy nor sad. Just be equanimous. Wherever, whatever the person is, his behavior or conduct, just be equanimous. Fourth approach, Buddha says, is Disregard the person that you resent, paying no attention to them. So, Buddha's thing is always that we should protect our own mind. Right? Not get stuck. This is all Maya. Not get stuck in outside, you know, because everywhere and everywhere you will find people who are resent worthy. Why? Because somewhere or the other thing, they are not adhering to the norms that you have set that the other person should be behave like, behaving like that. So, what we need to do is that we can just disregard the person from our mind. You know, you can just take it like as a blackboard and dust off the blackboard. You know, dust, just dust off that person from your mind. Just try and doing that. Try and do that. It's, you know, very powerful. What I have used is, you know, many times I've used this technique that if there is anger or dust, I just take a like a duster in my mind and I just wash off or dust off the whole thing. That is... Don't pay any attention to that people, that person. Fifth is approach that Buddha says is you apply this concept that we are the owners of our own deeds to that person. So no matter what that person is behaving, I am the owner of my deeds to that person. Buddha see Buddha's concept is very very clear. You take, you are responsible for your karma, and your karma only goes with you. So when you die. That person will not go with you. Your own karma will go with you and will, de will decide on what, what, what rebirth you get, what suffering or what benefits that you get in the future births. So important thing here is to understand that that person, let that person do his job. But I will take care of my kar karma. I am the owner of my karma. So Buddha says, Think like I am the owner of my deeds and a hear to my deeds. Deeds are my womb, my relatives and my refuge. My own deeds are my womb because from we are born from our deeds. So whatever deeds, 
structure, karmic structure that I have at the time of my death. Accordingly only I will be reborn. Right? So, so just reflect on that and just take ownership of our own deeds. I shall be the hero of whatever deeds I do, whether good or bad. That's how to get rid of resentment. Right? So, these are five ways. Just recap. First is develop love. Second, develop compassion. Third, develop equanimity. Right? Fourth, disregard the person. Don't pay attention. Fifth is apply the concept that we are the owners of their, our deeds to that person. Right? Have that ownership and just take care of what your actions are. Right? Rather than worrying about what other person is doing and everything, don't get our mind clouded. Just you be loving, compassionate. Right? Okay. Now this is the 5.161. In 5.162, uh, it's a bit in a different way Buddha is saying. So that also I want to just share here. So Buddha is saying that there are four type of people. Like one person, four type of people who are like, you know, whom you, you can resent. First is their behavior is impure, but but speech is pure. Second is behavior by uh, the speech is impure, but behavior by way of body is pure. Third is behavior by body and speech is impure, but who gets an openness and clarity of heart from time to time. Fourth is person whose behavior by way of body and speech is impure and who doesn't get any openness and clarity of heart. So how to deal with these four people? So first, a person whose behavior of the body is impure, that means he does actions which are wrong through his body. But the speech is pure. So Buddha in this, in this particular discourse, he gives a lot of beautiful analogies. So, you know, I will not take those analogies because then it will, uh, you know, it will be a very long video. You can read the particular discourse. Its link is given in the description. Buddha says, if the body, behavior by our body is impure, by, but speech is pure. Ignore the person's impure behavior by your body. Focus on their pure behavior in terms of speech. So Buddha says, focus where the purity is. Right? Focus on that pure person's pure. Find out the good in that person. So our natural tendency is what? We think only over the bad things. Our mind's focus goes on the bad things about the person. Here Buddha is, that's the, that's the kind of uh, effort that we need to exert, the right effort in the Noble Eightfold Path, Buddha said. Everyone can flow downstream, but it takes effort to flow up, upstream, against the flow of the river. So that effort we need to do is to focus on the good things. By focusing on the good things, what happens is we protect our own mind which otherwise would go in resentment. Second, Buddha says, how to get rid of resentment for a person whose behavior by speech is impure, but whose behavior by way of body is pure. So Buddha says, you should ignore the person's behavior by way of speech. That means ignore the speech which is impure. Focus on the pure behavior of the body. Right? Third, Buddha says, so as third, how to get rid of resentment of a person whose behavior by way of body and speech is impure, but who gets openness and clarity of heart from time to time? Buddha says, ignore that person's impure behavior by way of speech and body. Focus on the fact that they get that openness and clarity of heart from time to time. Beautiful, right? Focusing on that, time to time he gets that openness and clarity. You know, you find people who are bad in terms of how they speak, but from time to time, they, they feel sorry for what they are doing and you know, because see, they are, we are all creatures. We are all chained by our mind's patterns. But somewhere they also realize they have positive qualities also. Focus on that openness in, of the heart that comes in them. Focus on that. Fourth, how to get rid of resentment for a, pers for a person whose behavior by of body and speech is impure and who even doesn't get an openness and clarity of heart. So that's the most difficult. How Here Buddha says, at that time, you should ignore the person's impure behavior by your speech and body and the fact that they don't get an openness from time to time and think of them with nothing but compassion. Just think of them with compassion, kindness and sympathy. Oh, may, and then you can just wish them well. May this person give up bad conduct by way of body, speech and mind and develop good conduct by way of body, speech and mind. Why is that? So that when the body breaks up after death, they are not reborn in a place of loss a bad place, an underworld, a hell. 
that's how to get with you so so beautiful buddha says that those people who whose speech is bad whose behaviors by way of body by act, bodily actions is bad who do not get any openness of the heart or clarity of the heart just wish them well have compassion for them wish them well because you wish them well because you do not want those people because of their actions to be born in lower realms where intense suffering is there so you wish them well you wish them wisdom and you, you may the person give a bad conduct by your body speech and mind and develop good conduct how do you get rid of resentment for a person whose behavior by your body and speech is pure okay this is the final thing behavior by your body and speech is pure and who also get openness of heart from time to time so buddha says in such people you should focus on that person's pure behavior by way of body and speech and the fact that they get openness right so for that person it's very easy because that person's conduct is good speech is good they get openness so you have lot of things the positive things that you get op- that you can focus on so the 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 the, the, the to just to summarize what buddha is asking us that have love and compassion replace the thoughts of resentment with love and compassion be equanimous if it doesn't work then just remove the thoughts of that particular person take ownership on your deeds and focus on the positive aspect in every bad person also there are some other the positive factors just focus on the positive aspects right so this is the discourses that i referred i hope this helps someone um, do share your thoughts feedback your reflections on this on this discourse uh, thank you so much for for watching this video namo buddhaya namo buddhaya